Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz, and if you're new here, I do two DIYs each week. And for the last several months, me and my husband have been remodeling this RV. If you follow me on my social media, on my Instagram, or my Facebook group, you would have seen some of my journey remodeling this, but it's completely done, and I can't wait to give you the tour. So we bought our RV back in December, it is a class C, it's 20 years old, and it only has 40,000 miles on it. It was really in great shape, except for it was out of date, basically. So we lucked out in getting an RV that was working well. It just needed some fun updates, and so that's exactly what we did. So let me show you around our camper. As you walk into our camper, you will notice these really fun stairs. Originally, we had some really dated green carpet here. We ripped all of that out, put in some new wood boards and a peel and stick tile backsplash, and I just love the way it turned out. The biggest transformation and the thing that took us the longest to do was painting the walls and cabinets. This is a small space, so we needed to brighten it up, so we went with white. We did one coat of primer and two to three coats in some areas on all the walls and the cabinets. They were painted all the same color. We also added a varnish over the cabinets to keep them going for years to come. In the entry, we wanted something that was really inviting and really made a statement. I picked up some fun wallpaper and it just makes a really nice statement when you walk in, but it's not all over the camper. I will link all the products that I'm talking about down in the description box, so if you need something specific, just look down there. On the lower cabinets in the kitchen, we decided to go with a neutral gray paint. We felt like that just kind of grounded the kitchen and gave a little bit of color in this space. Campers typically have really outdated window treatments, so we pulled all that down and we replaced them with these great bamboo blinds. Not only do they look great, but we have so much more light coming in with these new blinds. I also really wanted to change out our lighting, so I bought really inexpensive light fixtures off of Amazon. They all have a pull tab to them, so you can easily turn them on and off, and the light bulbs we used are grade for an RV. We decided to take an eyesore in our camper and make it something beautiful. Originally, our upper cabinets had this weird old mirror with design on them, and I knew that wasn't gonna work for us. So we popped that out, we put in a backing piece, and then just took some scrap wood, made a fun little pattern on it, and then painted that over white. And now we have an interesting feature to our cabinetry. With our couch, I didn't want to spend a lot on this piece, so I got some inexpensive drop cloths from Lowe's, recovered the entire sofa. It ended up costing me under $20, and it really makes such a difference. It did take some time, but finding a piece that fits perfectly in your RV can be tricky, so I'm glad that I recovered it. I also used that same fabric on our dinette, and I just sewed covers to our cushions. That way we could use what we already had, we knew it fit perfectly, and I think it works great. Over the driving area, we have this really nice pull-out bunk that my older daughter is going to sleep in. I switched out the mattress and all the bedding there, and to add a little bit of privacy and also cover up where the driving area is when we're actually camping, I picked up two of these shower curtains from Walmart. If you watch Caroline's bathroom makeover, I actually used these curtains in her bathroom. These work perfectly. They were inexpensive and they work great as curtains. And so we can just close these and open these as we need to. Originally in this space, we had horrible green carpet. 
That was the first thing to go. We replaced it with a nice wood laminate from Lowe's. It really didn't take us that long to put in place and it was fairly inexpensive. We ended up using about seven boxes for our RV. Throughout our camper, you're gonna see some really fun prints. These are from Neptune Art on Etsy. I'll link it below. And I just picked up some frames off of Amazon. Being that I can't go to the stores as regularly, I relied on Amazon for a lot of the purchases that I had to make, but typically I would go out and buy in the stores. But I tried to pick out some art pieces that were fun for traveling, and I think it just really gives a cozy feel to the space. I also wanted it to be very functional in our camper as well. I just used some Ikea hooks and a wood block behind them and I hung these up so that they're out for towels and hanging up our laundry hamper and a bunch of different areas around the camper. I also have this great Ikea hook system in the kitchen and on there we can hang our mugs or utensils or anything we need in the kitchen. This bathroom also got quite the overhaul, but on a really tight budget. The shower, once I painted those walls white, I realized I had to do something to that shower because the shower was this really bad cream color. So I just used some appliance epoxy in a can. I think I used two cans and sprayed the whole thing. I actually took the shower doors down as well, spray painted them black. That was quite the chore, but I think it looks so much better in the end. I also added some fun wallpaper on one wall here, and I think it just makes a really nice statement in this space. In our back bedroom, we actually took out one of the nightstands and extended the bed so that we could fit a king size mattress in this space. I'm so glad that we were able to accomplish that. We're used to a king and it's just gonna be so nice to have in here. On the walls, we added some of those same bamboo blinds, but I also added in some curtains that I picked up at Target. I bought one panel and cut it in half, sewed it, so I had a panel on each side. Our entire camper is definitely styled and it won't look this way when we go camping, but I had a lot of fun getting it ready for this photo shoot. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I styled the camper up. I have several more videos coming out in this series that are going to be much more detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how we did the painting and the bathroom, but I just was so excited to give you an overview of the space. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those RV videos coming out. And if you missed our last DIY, I'll link it here for you. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.